Did you know that Vienna has bragging rights as one of the best places to live in Virginia? Yes, I said in Virginia. So if you're thinking about moving to Vienna, Virginia, and try and say that three times fast, then you are in the right place. Hi, I'm Ginger Walker, the team lead of Give Back team of Coldwell Banker Elite. And welcome to this episode of Give, Work, Play, where we talk about everything living and giving in Northern Virginia. And this is Lindsay Harrington from Give Back Team. And she's gonna talk to us today about living in Vienna, Virginia. Welcome, Lindsay. Hi. All right, so let's just get to it. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of living in Vienna. In Vienna, you're gonna find high-ranking public schools, depending on where you're looking, quaint neighborhoods, shopping, music, craft beer events, dining, history. I mean, there's so much more, and it's only about 15 miles west of Washington, D.C. So, Lindsay, I mean, you grew up in Vienna, right? Yes. Tell us why it's a great place to consider moving to Vienna, Virginia. So I love Vienna because you truly do get the small town feel but big city living. There's so much to do there between the Halloween parades. We actually have, you know, they do a float parade and I got to ride on the floats as a little girl with my costume. Wait, you got to ride in a float? Yes. Down like the main street of the town? Correct, yep. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? So that was always a really big deal. They take holidays there very seriously. So the community always shows out and it's so much fun. I love that. So it kind of is that, it almost makes me feel like a Midwest town. Not that I've ever lived in the Midwest, but it kind of makes you feel like that really small town Mm -hmm. feeling, but it's super close to DC. It's like close to everything. And if shopping is important to you, Tyson's Corner is literally right next door to Vienna. Pretty much a five minute drive and you have all the shopping right there at your fingertips. Another amazing thing is the proximity to both airports. About 20-25 minutes and you are either at Ronald Reagan or Dulles International Airport. And they're international airports so if you want to go like Atlanta or you want to go to Athens it's easy access right there. Okay so let me talk about access for a second because I do have a question. So commuting, let's say I'm going to wa- I'm going to be working in DC. What's the best way to get there? So if you are trying to escape the 395 or 495 traffic, you also have the option of the Metro. The orange line will take you over to DC and they also have lines running west out 66. And if you don't want to take the metro and you don't want to drive a car, are there any other options for commuting? There is carpool options and a bus system. Oh, sweet. So you don't actually have to get behind the wheel if you don't want to. Yep. So what else is so great about living specifically in Vienna? So another thing that is amazing about Vienna is all the outdoor activities. There are so many bike trails, parks, you name it. You can ride your skateboards, anything out there. And it is so cool. They're actually really long, some of them up to 185 miles. Wow. uh, Going up into Maryland. One of the trails is along the train tracks and the other one is along a canal. So you get really great scenery with whichever one you choose to go on. Another awesome thing about Vienna is in the summertime, they have Viva Vienna, which is like a summer festival. So there's a lot to do though, where you can sit outside and like bring your dogs and they can give them water, have a cup of coffee, a glass of craft beer. I mean, it sounds like there's a lot to do in Vienna. There definitely is. Throughout the town, there are sidewalks everywhere. So if you enjoy riding your bike, walking your dog. And you know, one thing that's really cool about Vienna too is the music. So there's actually a really cool place to go if you want to see big concerts and then there's something a little bit more intimate. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? You're welcome. I just threw that at you. So Jamming Java is actually in the town of Vienna and it is one of the top 100 clubs in the world according to ticket sales. Jamming Java is actually a premier concert venue in the United States and it remains a staple of the Washington DC music community. That's pretty cool. So I've never been there. Have you ever been there? I have not been there, sadly, but it is definitely on one of my lists to go check out. I have been to Wolf Trap, and Wolf Trap is absolutely amazing. I've been to Wolf Trap, too. I I think we should add Jam and Java to the list. Yes. That should be their next team outing. I think that's a thing. Let's do it. So there's a couple of the pros, but you know, mm, there's always a con or two. So let's give you the real deal about some of the things that you may want to consider that are, I don't know, I don't ever want to say negatives, but some of the things that you want to know about. So what are some of the, the not so great things about possibly living in Vienna? So a con that you definitely might not know about, but you really should pay attention to. If you are actually living inside the town limits, you may have to pay town taxes as well as Fairfax County taxes. 
is. Ooh. So that really is a big one that you need to pay attention to. But not every Vienna address actually is in the town limits. So depending on your address, look into it, you may only be subject to pay the Fairfax County taxes. That's a really important tip that you need to make sure you know before you buy in Vienna. So is there anything else that maybe we want to let everybody know about? Not necessarily the negative negative, but something that they want to be aware of about moving to Vienna? So this is going to be anywhere in Northern Virginia. Wait, let me guess. Is it traffic? Maybe, mm. but to spin that around in Vienna, you do have so many other options that you don't have to commute always by car. You can carpool, take the metro, the bus. So you do have some more options in Vienna that you might not have somewhere else. So you wanna hear a fun fact? We usually give like a tip or like a, a fun fact or something like that. So do you know how Vienna actually got its name? I actually don't know how Vienna got its name. What? So it was called like Iyer or something else. It was called something else. And then back in 1850, 50, a doctor that lived in New York, in Vienna, New York, said he was gonna move to the town because they were looking for a doctor, but he had one requirement. Guess what the requirement was? What was it? They had to name the town Vienna, Virginia. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? And I didn't even know there was a Vienna in New York. And there's your tip <laughs> on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday, whenever you're watching this video. <laughs> so if you want more information on Vienna, Virginia, don't hesitate to comment down below. And we're happy to answer your questions about Vienna and living in Northern Virginia. I'm Ginger Walker. And this is... Lindsay Harrington. And we're with Give Back Team of Coldwell Banker Elite. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want more content, make sure you follow along on all of our social media. Thanks so much for watching.